and under 19s in their respective leagues um, it's fair to say we don't have to dig too deep to um, evaluate and measure success from a collective point of view from the season just passed uh, but having said that we do have various uh, other aims and goals um, at the beginning of each season um, from an individual point of view the obvious one is the challenge for our boys is to use this opportunity if they can to to kick on and, and give the first team management some good headaches um, so with that in mind um, we've had various boys this year involved with the first team, whether that be on match days or just stepping up to train, um, which fills us with immense pride, uh, and very much so the boys who actually went on and made first team appearances for the first team. So um, the fact they came in the Cymru Premier as well, in what is a historic season for the first team, fills us with immense pride. Um, so when Sam Williams, Eric Murner, Max Moore um, went on and made those, those appearances, obviously it's a, it's a big moment for all was all involved in the academy, not just in the scholarship programme. Um, not only that, obviously we got to the end of the season and Josh Allen, in addition to, to Sam and Max, was offered first team contracts. So again, that's a, that's a huge a huge plus for us and something we're immensely proud of. Um, so away from the club, we've had um, a number of boys recognised with international honours. Um, Sam Williams um, and Danny Parry jones represented Wales at schoolboy level out in Italy during the current season with Danny actually being rewarded with player of the tournament. In addition, we've had a number of boys represent Wales colleges at various points throughout the season. Again, which is something that we're, we're immensely proud of. Um, away from football, um, one of the things we're, we, we push with the boys is, is some trying to get involved in some community projects, which they did around Christmas time this year. I think it's important that the boys are able to uh, show their worth to the wider community. Um, and also, when we get to this point in the season, it's always sad when you lose players because they're going to move on with their lives um, and move forward. But the fact that every boy from our programme this year who is leaving us is moving on to the, what is their desired next step uh, makes us really excited for, for their futures and what's to come. Under the stewardship of Matt Sampson and Kev Manley, as I mentioned, the under-18s won their respective league. Uh, and they pretty much led the league from day one. And this is no mean feat given that this was the first time we've entered this particular competition, the Reserves and Cods League. But also for a large number of the boys, this was the first time they'd been involved in open age football, so senior football. So to to perform the way they did on a consistent basis, competing physically, um, tactically being able to impose our game um, on the opposition to the point where teams have given us a lot of respect. And to go throughout the season up to the point where it was curtailed with only two defeats was, was a fantastic achievement. Um, if anything, we're really disappointed for the boys that the, the season did get cut short, given that they're only two victories away from, from securing the title anyway. Um, so obviously we're all delighted when the decision was made that they should be awarded the, the league title on a point per game basis. And um, It goes without saying that we're, we're just immensely proud of that, of that achievement from that, that particular group of boys. Uh, the 19s uh, went about it in a different way, although they did win their league. Um, it became obvious from, from early on that there was going to be three teams in the under-19s division that was going to be pushing for that for that top spot. Uh, and although we did okay, when we got to the halfway point around Christmas time, it um, became apparent that if we were going to mount a serious challenge, then we were up against it. We, we likely had to be flawless between then and the end of the season, uh, and arguably we had our toughest games to come. So the fact that we got ourselves in a position where, with three games to go, 
we were awarded the league on points per game, uh, where we actually didn't need uh, any additional games to, to get our noses in front, kind of gives you an indication of the level of performances that the boys turned in. Um, and for us, it was just justification in that. We felt we were the best team. We felt we um, fully deserved to, to be recognised as being the, the strongest outfit. So again, and just over two months ago now, uh, the FAW came to the decision to, to award us a league on a points per game basis. Um, from our point of view, obviously, we felt it was the right decision and, and, and just rewards for all our efforts of the boys over the course of the season. <laughs>
this is actually their choice of um, Players Player of the Year, so the, the guy that they think has been um, outstanding and has led from within a group and has dug in really hard when when the uh, the moments have presented themselves. Uh, this player has been absolutely incredible this season, both on and off the pitch. They've demonstrated a level of understanding of how we've uh, how we've set the team up. Uh, they've led from within a group. Uh, they clearly stand up to the bigger moments. They don't uh, they don't shrivel in in hard times. They they actually do quite the opposite. They stand up and be counted. Uh, and uh, it's been a great pleasure to uh, to be part of the coaching staff this year and have the pleasure to to coach this player. And this year's Players Player of the Year award goes to Marcus Connor Astraeus. Well done, mate. Hi, I'm here to, to announce the Supporters Player of the Year. Uh, he, was, uh, he had an outstanding season. Um, I think he represents what the Nomads player uh, should be. Uh, technical and tactical is fantastic, but uh, uh, his uh, capacity of, uh, of uh, working hard, of fighting, uh, for this Nomad shirt is uh, uh, was absolutely incredible. So the supporters play of the year is Marcus. <laughs> So, coaches play of the season. Uh, when Rich, Antonio, and myself sat down to discuss who were the main candidates for this award, I know it's quite cliched, but it's fair to say there were a number of, of boys in the in the running. Um, I think it's fair, given the success the group had this year. But the boy we decided to to give the award to, um, I think, really on in pre-season, we kind of got an idea of how important he would he would be for us over the course of the season. Um, but at the time. There's no way we could have foresaw just how significant um, a role he would play in the successes that we've had. Uh, the best way I can describe this boy is, is that he personifies everything that we were good at and everything we wanted from the group. When he played well, we we tended to play well as a, as a team. Um, when the demands got higher, he raised his game. And when the stakes got higher, particularly towards the end of the season, um, he, he came into his own. Um, away from the pitch which again is equally as important to us. Um, he integrates into the group really well. Um, he's a really respected member of the group. The group, I know, value um, his influence, both in the changing room and, and out on the pitch. So in the end, when it comes to, to making a decision, um, we were all kind of of the same mindset and, and thought this boy deserved the award. So it gives me in particular great pleasure to award the coaches player of the season to Marcus Connor Astraeus. Well done, pal. Declan Poole are draws a court weg and a McCallum Morris. Ian Maura are a Gorbessa, Kikem. And Cloisey, a Penny van Iam Danny, Farquhar. Yeah. Morris and Evan Roberts. At my skin, he Ryan. Holy Bakari. Bakari and a court cost big white dark and Bakari. Poole. But up to the thrust at Declan Pool and Cosimo, Jagat Bakare, see he be all coded bail, just better a goal on Penny at the line, my sister Jimmy insult. Adi Methine kick us what in a tomorrow mat. Fakerson sing Cody, Akbain Sir. Calvel, my Bakare, he caskly. Kare! Oh! My Gwell's head at Bakare. Bakare and Calvel. Insult. Insult and he got to Bakare. I don't know if I'm a mind. A crush at an insult or that's Frankie Shadali Vendor Bell and Sophia Insult! Bell and I insult! 
Ti bas ma bakare men Pilber Inglis ar hyn wyneb yn cwb Arbediad gwych Di yn symeth i'r rheoli hi Chwnegi hynna'n at y postyn pethau Michael Wilde Mae law Ar i drod chwith Bill yn gwyro A mae mewn gan Yw'r ychwyl cosbi ar i drod chwith Ar gyd i siel Ac mae Mae chwilio i groesu A dyna i'n syl Roberts Y croesia At y postyn pethau At Wilde Yr am y ffynnw dan bwysa A gyn Ble gan Bacare Michael Bacare Hwstwr y chorewyr A mae'n disgyn i'r eilydd Bacare A chodi nôl i fyr i tygaeth Bacare Tygaeth Morris y mae'n tygaeth Inser Disney ar yr gyd O! Mae'n brobys Mae'n cyrraedd Wild Y golwr ni harbed i Insol Y golwr ar gwiriad Y mynd i hun o gwpas Hat! Bella! Arbediad rhagorol A mae yna Gyn i Declan Pool Pool Nor chwith Robert yn croes i'n dda Michael Wilde yn cwbl A Bacare yn dilyn I gyfeiriau George Horan Oldo ni gisio i gosod ti cyrrn dyma George Horan Al gyntaf fod i creu cyrrn Oes yn wy Bacare greu ti bedau Y ffi cefna nhw A dyna o'n alw i'n gelwydd gyd O ydyn Nel gyntaf gem I creu cona A mae gwael Creu cyrrn Y croes siad Insol ar penia I've been asked to do the Connors Key 2019 20 Players Player of the Season Award. Um, I think this is the award that most, um, most lads would want to win off their the fellow teammates and that. Um, I didn't vote for him, but I think it's a worthy winner this year and, um, and well done. So this year's winner is Mike Wild. Well done, Mike. <laughs> to announce the winner of the Supporters Player of the Year Award. Hopefully you've all seen our vote on social media over the past few weeks. I'm pleased to say we've had over 500 votes on this award, so a big thank you to everyone who's taken the time to place a vote. On to the results. In third place was Declan Poole. In second place was Jamie Insull. And the winner of the Supporters Player of the Year Award made 42 appearances for the Nomads in all competitions this season, missing just one game. And he's played a huge role in helping the Nomads have the best defensive record in the JD Cymru Premier League this season, with the team keeping 10 clean sheets and conceding just 19 goals during the league campaign. All told, the Nomads kept 20 clean sheets and conceded just 28 goals in all competitions whilst this player was on the pitch. If I had to pick out a highlight of the season for this player, it would be his man of the match performance away at Rugby Park in the Europa League. That night, he played a massive part in helping the Nomads defeat Kilmarnock 2-0 on, on the night 
three two in aggregate to take the club into the second qualifying round of the competition. So the winner of the supporters player of the year award is the Nomads number one, Lewis Brass. A huge congratulations on winning this award, Lou. Well, it gives me great pleasure as the manager of the club to to announce the, the manager stroke staff player of the season. And, um, you know, I look at it over the whole season. I look back over the stats from the start of the season and uh, looking for a consistency, really, not um, not moments of brilliance. And, um, you know, in third place, uh, it's a fantastic first season um, at the club. I've, um, I always remind him that, uh, you know, as a football club, we're set up to make goalkeepers look good. You know, we have the best defensive record year on year. Um, and John Danby, you know, did very well for three or four years. And uh, but Lewis has stepped in and had a fantastic season. He's done terrific. And for me, being the best keeper in, in the league this year. So third place is Lewis Brass. Second place, I really had to um, juggle between between the two players. And um, and I decided to go with, uh, with Mike Wilde in second place. You know, Mike's had a fantastic season. He's been terrific. Um, he's improved year on year. Uh, and again, I believe that the, the season just gone has been his best season. You know, he's, um, he's led the team. He's incredibly um, strong-minded and got great self-belief and, um, you know, and, and has, been a, has been a great addition to the, to, to, um, you know, to the, to the squad since he came in. Um, and it was very, very close between him and the winner. And the winner this year... Um, of the manager's player of the season has had another terrific season. It's just the level of consistency in, never dips. You know, um, he came second last year, was very unlucky probably not to get it. But the fact that, you know, finished second last year and then goes on to win it this year tells you the level of consistency that he manages to give week in, week out. Terrific player, terrific lad, fantastic in a changing room and been very lucky to work with him. So the manager's player of the season is Danny Holmes um, and I know he'll be chuffed to bits and it's thoroughly deserved um, as I said he came second last year uh, and since he's come in it's been um, absolutely terrific I can't speak highly enough of him You know, Nick, it's been a fantastic season. You know, we think back to the Kilmarnock game when the draw was made and, um, you know, it was probably the, the the fixture that would suit me does best, you know, logistically. Um, and we were magnificent over, you know, over two two games. Um, and it set us up really well for the season. You know, we started great. We, we the too many draws early on, you know, but then we found our form and we went so long undefeated. Um, you know, when... We, we went on to win the League Cup. We had a decent run in the in the Welsh Cup um, and we ultimately won the league and rightly so, you know, and um, I can't speak highly enough of the players, you know, the, the demands that um, Jay, Craig and myself put on them week in, week out. It's it's what's expected from footballers. It's what we've worked at, you know, when I played when I played and Craig at that level, um, you know, we know what's needed. We know the lengths you have to go to um, to be successful uh, and the boys embraced it this year and were fantastic you know before you know we've done the player of the year award and um, managers player of the year award sorry and I think sometimes you know there's players who are so consistent in their game that they're overlooked you know uh, Callum Morris and um, George Haram Danny Harrison players of this elk are just consistent every year and they, they get overlooked for these awards um, but it's because you know what you expect of them, you know, and they they return that every single game. And, you know, it's nothing how well Callum um, Roberts has come on this season. Chris Owens has come in, Dooley. Um, you know, there's been so many young players. Declan's kicked on to the next level. Um, you know, but it's been so pleasing. And, you know, Craig Curran came in at the end of the season and embraced what we do. Um, I was very impressed with how we do things and, you know, and... Um, and contributed as well. And it's across the board. So many players. I could mention everyone. It's a collective effort. And, um, you know, and rightly, we were awarded the championship. Um, and 
you know, for me, we would have gone on and won it clearly anyway. But um, yeah, very proud of the players, very proud of my staff and everything that we did last year because, again, we raised the bar. Um, and that's what we have to reinforce when we get back. You know, we have to go again. We have to raise the bar. Myself, my staff, my players, you know, we right across the board, we have to go to the next level. Um, and we're ready for that. We want to do that. You know, we've got a um, very ambitious bunch of lads, you know, the youth lads that have come through, the younger players are developing under the guidance of the older players. And we've got a really strong, really strong changing room. So things look great. Um, we just need to get packed now. You know, we just need to get that that okay to get back in training and prepare for that Champions League game um, at the end of August and um, and do everything we can to be prepared for when the season starts. But, you know, make no mistake, Connors Key will be ready. Whatever date we're given, whatever way the season looks, you know, we will be ready to start this season and uh, defend our championship. 